On September 15, 2001, the Rivertown Film Society was born. The timing was auspicious because there had been a tragic and unprecedented attack on the United States, and on New York City in particular. The country, New York, and the world were sent reeling on September 11. The nation's horrific wounds, physical and psychological, were still very raw when a determined and visionary group of film lovers based in Nyack decided to move ahead with their plans to hold the opening night of their newly formed organization. Art brings people together and reminds them that, despite all the cruelness and ugliness in the world, there's still beauty and community to be had. Um, I think for me, one of the things that is of primary importance with um, a film society, a, a cultural a beacon like Rivertown, is that it brings audiences to filmmakers. Um, I, I think, you know, an impulse is to think like, oh, it's great because if you have Rivertown, that's going to bring films and filmmakers to the community. But really, I think it's bringing an audience to the film and to the filmmaker and you get a quality of, of dialogue and feedback that you're never going to get in a movie theater. Um, and I think it's really exceptional. And certainly, you know, here in Nyack, we are famous for our, you know, social concerns and our cultural and creative concerns. So you get a very, um, very rich kind of tapestry of, of, uh, of people show up for these movies and for a filmmaker showing the picture it's very very exciting. I think that if we look at our ag policy and decide to examine its core reasons for existing and look at it in terms of food policy because everybody in this country eats and say well what are the policies that are going to best support available inexpensive food. Let's make sure Maggie is as well developed and has as amazing in an arc and is as worthy of, you know, of this movie as, as Milo, the male character, is. Like a tree, it has its roots. My inspiration was my grandmother. She was my roots, and I was chosen to carry her name. She was the one who taught me to reach for the stars and to never look back. Brooklyn has always been my home, so it's always fun to watch the arts and culture that has generated here in my home community. What is it meant to be a filmmaker in this current moment in time? Is there a special connection between film and dance? Creativity amongst chaos, and what does it mean to create music and to sing in the ruins of something that has been built and then broken down again? I think that it would be a little premature to say that we're in a metamorphosis moment, but I definitely feel what um, poet um, Kamal Brathwaite used to call the Sycorax. We're definitely submerged in something and are coming up in different ways. You have to feel the characters, you have to become the characters in order for it to translate musically. The point is that you have a story you want to tell and you want to give it to an audience. It, it's something like you, you just need to give this story out. John Sales, I'm at uh, uh, the Nyack Center. Um, we just presented Amigo to the Rivertown film series. Um, people are folding up the chairs. And uh, I hope you support this place and, and places like it. If you've got one near you, you're very lucky. If you don't, start one.